A police report in South Korea into the Halloween crowd crush last year that killed more than 150 people has only referred low-level officials for prosecution over the incident. It said the deaths in Seoul were a man-made disaster, the result of weak planning and poor emergency response. Our correspondent Nick Marsh has been speaking to victims' families who say the report has come as a major blow and wants senior government figures to bear responsibility. This is where Lee Ju Young used to sleep. Her dad's left the room exactly how it was on the 29th of October, the night she left and didn't come back. She was due to get married this year. She was a charismatic girl, Jin Min told me. She had me, my wife and her brother all under her thumb. Like so many of Seoul's bereaved families, Jun Min wants answers. What happened on Halloween shook South Korea. There was no planning, there was no crowd control. Today, a 10-week investigation concluded that 23 officials should be charged with death by professional negligence. But they're mainly local neighborhood officials rather than senior figures. Jun Min called it cutting off the lizard's tail to spare the head. For the past three months, the government has treated us with indifference, with no sincerity. I understand criminal accountability is harder to ask for, but there is such a thing as ethical accountability. This means the interior minister, the national police chief, even the prime minister, they should all take responsibility. At a memorial site, I met this man who lost his son. He looks like he was going to be president, doesn't he? He says. How can a rich country like this allow something like that to happen? This report has not gone down well with the families of the victims. They lost their children in the most appalling way imaginable, and they want those right at the very top to take responsibility for it. But this was a failure, a profound failure, mainly at a local level. And it could be this that ultimately makes it difficult for the bereaved to find any kind of real closure. At the National Center for Disaster and Trauma, a special department was set up after the crush. In my experience, no matter how thorough the investigation is, there is no perfectly clear answer that will suit the hearts of the victims. But they still have a right to an honest investigation and to our support. This is crucial to recovery. But far from providing closure, this report has only inflamed the sense of injustice. I am determined to get an apology from those in power so my daughter can close her eyes in peace. I've told her that will do his best. Nick Marsh, BBC News, Seoul.